and welcome to Bud's RPG Review, where I give my thoughts on role-playing games, card games and board games. Today's retro review is 1986's Judgment Day for Judge Dredd the role-playing game by Games Workshop. Ok, first a bit of history. Judgment Day is a 30 page scenario that was one of two officially produced by Games Workshop. It comes complete with a centre spread of handouts and maps and a sheet of cardboard cutout figures near the back. Ok, to the cover. Here we have an excellent piece of art by 2000 AD stalwart Brett Ewens, which is very evocative of everything Judge Dredd. A great start. Right, to the inside. Judgment Day is designed for two to four judges of average experience or four to six newly appointed judges. We have a few paragraphs on DM preparation and where it all starts, with the judges out on patrol on their bikes. The scenario is broken down into multiple progs, like the 2000 AD magazine. Before we begin, we have a backstory for the DM. Following the death of Mad Chief Judge Cal in 2102, the people of Mega City One considered themselves free of his cruel, tyrannical rule. Cal, in his madness, had formulated plans to kill the entire population with the idea of leaving it empty as an eternal monument to his greatness. Cal had managed to rule due to being able to hypnotise many of the judges in the city with the use of subliminal messages, and following his defeat at the hands of Dredd and his rebels, nobody consequently stopped to question how he had acquired the skills in order to do this. As head of the SJS, the Justice Department that investigates crime committed by judges, Cal had full access to the files of all judges in the city. Having scoured these records, he identified corrupt judges. One such judge was Med Judge Kent. Kent had been abusing his position dealing in artifacts and was persuaded to help Cal and transferred to the psychology branch of Med Division where he attained the position of Chief Psychologist to the SJS. From there he cherry picked judges who were especially vulnerable to mind control. It was Kent who prepared the briefing tapes that Cal used to dominate the judges. There was, however, a plan B that nobody ever suspected. Cal's obsession with power led to him taking measures to defeat death. Kent arranged to have Cal's personality recorded on a biochip at the moment of his death. This would allow him to live again, even if it was in another body. Biochips had long ago been made illegal, but Kent had managed to obtain one through the Justice Department's Black Museum, and hidden it away in an abandoned warehouse within the maze complex, along with the other equipment required to implant the chip when it was needed. When Cal died, the chip worked exactly as planned. Cal's personality was transferred to the biochip recorder. Kent was arrested and exiled to Titan for his crimes against the city, having never revealed his plan B. Somehow the maze managed to mostly withstand the devastation of the Apocalypse War. It's mostly irradiated which prevents it being redeveloped, and the biochip and restoration equipment lies there, forgotten, gathering dust, awaiting Cal's rebirth. Except it wasn't quite forgotten. One of Kent's assistants, Judge Pentecost, was hypnotically briefed about the biochip without being aware of it. He was told to recover and implant the chip when a suitable host could be found. Unaware of this, Pentecost joined Dredd's resistance and suffered severe head and spinal injuries in the final battle, which led to memory loss and partial paralysis. Unfit to serve as a judge now, Pentecost was assigned to teach medicine at the Academy of Law. Three months ago, Pentecost was concussed after a lab accident and his memory began to come back. Shortly afterwards, he inexplicably made his way into the maze and began the preparations of the equipment for a human host for the biochip. Pentecost had to find a perfect human host for Cal's personality, and two weeks ago he found that host in the form of a retired vid star, Conrad Conn. Conn, having returned to public attention recently as the director of a feature vid, a dramatisation of Dredd's trek across the cursed earth, visited the Academy of Law to see examples of the equipment Dredd had used. This is when Pentecost drugged and abducted Conn and smuggled him into the maze. Having met Cal's specifications and had the biochip implanted, the reborn Cal is setting out to plot revenge against the judges. He plans to complete his vid and show it at a charity premiere in front of Chief Judge Magruder. This vid will have hypnotic suggestions implanted in it which will reawaken the previous conditioning and bring the judges back under Cal's control. If his plan fails, he intends to infect the populace with a modified version of the Tutti Frutti virus that ignores the vaccine. The only person who knows Cal's plans is the trapped personality of Conrad Conn himself, who is a passive observer. Con can only control his body in short bursts when Cal is resting. His attempts to warn the judges will hopefully lead to Cal's plan failing, providing the judges pick up on all of the clues. OK, so the first chapter, or prog, a shot in the darkness. The scenario begins with the judges on duty on a normal night patrol near the maze when they get a number of crime reports from Mac. They are suddenly surprised by a flash and the body of a man rolling down the street. A quick look around detects a laser modified spy camera that they need to deal with. Upon searching the man, they realise that he has a judge's badge and lawgiver. 
If the judges head into the maze, they're attacked by a group of mutants and eventually find the warehouse that has been damaged in an explosion. The area is seeded with clues for the judges to discover and they are then led on to a meeting with the SJS who put them to work on secret SJS duty. They discover the identity of Judge Pentecost but also discover a note that has been scrawled backwards that seems to contain a warning. They could plug Mac for details and eventually it leads to a truck hire company so they have to go and give the owner of the truck company a visit. Prog 2 is entitled The Killer Fleas. In this chapter they need to visit the offices of the owner of the truck hire company. Unfortunately that block is under lockdown as it is infested by rad fleas. They eventually track him down and find further clues that lead them to speak to a taxi driver where they find further clues and another warning. Eventually they end up at the Academy of Law where they find more information on Pentecost and links to Kent. Prog 3 is called Trouble in Titan. The judges receive information that a riot has broken out on the mining penal colony on Titan and that a high speed shuttle is leaving in a few hours so it's the ideal time for the judges to go there to question Kent. The journey to Titan takes a few days and when they arrive the riots are under control. They discover that three prisoners are missing, all corrupt former judges. A side judge, Judge Mungo, Judge Stallone and Judge Kent himself. The judges then have to set off and track down the escaped prisoners on the back of robo mules. Along the way they are ambushed a few times and have a few encounters with the prisoners until finally they discover the cave that Kent is hiding out in. Returning Kent to the penal colony is the best option here as they comply with Truth Seer and get some information and the first mention of Cal's involvement. Next up is Prog 4, Cal Has Risen. On the judge's way home to Earth, they receive a communication that Chief Judge Magruder is in danger according to the precognition of Psy Division and that they have discovered that one of the machines they found in the warehouse was a biochip that was stolen from the Black Museum. The judges meet up with Magruder early on the morning of their arrival to discuss the evidence that they have so far and for Magruder to explain her plans with them. Magruder tells the party that she has some important engagements today and so wants the team to join her entourage. Her first meeting is with Brit Sitt's chief judge, Judge Gideon. The meeting with Gideon is marred by protesters against Brit Sitt's lack of involvement in the Apocalypse War and even a suicide bomber. They also have to attend the unveiling of the new statue of Fergie and then attend an inspection of a new group of rookie judges at the Academy of Law. Following that, they have a council meeting and then finally the premiere of Con's movie at the Megastoria Theatre Complex. During the performance, Cal reveals himself and gains control of the other judges in Magruder's entourage and activates a prop Tyrannosaurus Rex that will attack the judges. If Cal is being defeated, he will try to smash the vials of Tutti Frutti that he has stored in his knee pad, but Con fights back and stops him. The scenario ends with Cal's biochip finally being removed and Con regaining control of his body. The appendix covers space equipment and ways to follow up this scenario. I have to say I really enjoyed Judgment Day. It felt like a 2000 AD prog, which I imagine was the idea. It was rife with clues and investigation, action scenes and comedy. There were a few things that weren't that good though. Firstly, Games Workshop kept up their tradition of using artwork to justify encounters. We have an encounter with a swarm of rats and some rad fleas and the artwork is lifted directly from 2000 AD. I would have liked to have seen some originality around the encounters instead. Also, some things are rather sketchy throughout. For example, it says that they take a trip to Titan. It never explains how long it takes to get there, just a vague a few days seems to cover it. Also, I think some of the clues are a bit difficult to join up. I did feel at times that the action stalled a bit due to the investigation involved. That being said, as only one of the two scenarios printed for Judge Dredd, this is a decent one. It gives something different than the usual Mega City 1, Cursed Earth, Undercity tropes that could easily have been utilised. The trip to Titan is very different to what the players would be used to and the climax is actually really well done. If you want to play Judge Dredd the role playing game, I would definitely recommend getting hold of this if you can. I give Judgment Day a 7.5 out of 10. If you enjoyed this review please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget to check out my other reviews. Put out.